Mission for Girls crew. I'm June, your Connect News anchor from Washington, D.C. We are so grateful to have provided a year of Aviation for Girls Connect News to you. As 2023 comes to a close, we each thought about what we are most proud of this year. I'm most proud of the interviews I had with the medevac helicopter crew for the U.S. Army because it was such a special experience to meet the pilots and see the inside of their helicopter. And I was thrilled to share that with girls from all over. Plus, it was my first time interviewing people. What are you proud of, AFG anchors? Hi, AFG junior members. I'm Debbie from Canada. In 2023, I am most proud of my mother because at the age of 47, she is about to graduate from her degree in accounting in a few days. Hello, Women in Aviation International Junior members. I am Ala from Egypt. I am most proud of being a part of Y community in 2023. It's meaningful to me to be with people who have the same interest in aviation, be able to put our hands together to achieve a lot of accomplishments in the aviation industry. Hello, AFG crew. I'm Audrey from Minnesota. 2023 was a big year for me, but I'm most proud of airplanes because they are really fun to ride. Please welcome a new AFG anchor to the team, Kate. Thank you, Audrey. Hi, WAI crew. I'm Kate from Texas, and my dream is to become an engineer. In 2023, I'm most proud of my room project because I think it turned out well. Hey there, Aviation for Girls. I am Zaina from Singapore. In 2023, I am most proud of my mother as she was the lead of Girls in Aviation Day Singapore. Pulling off such a successful event definitely needed a lot of time and effort. So hats off to my mother for that. Hi, Women in Aviation International Junior members. I'm Juliana from Maryland. And what I'm most proud of is earning the achievement in the Civil Air Patrol General John F. Curry Achievement Ribbon because it's my first promotion and now I'm an official cadet airman. Please welcome a new AFG anchor to the team. Hi, WAI crew. I'm Izzy from California. My dream is to fly in 2023 I am proud that I went to two girls in aviation events and was so lucky to be interviewed for Aviation for Girls. Hi, Aviation for Girls crew. I'm Harkron from New York. I am most proud that I took the initiative to join Women in Aviation International in 2023 because I have gotten the opportunity to meet so many wonderful people. Hello, AFG Junior Crew. I am Maddie from Georgia. In 2023, I am proud of both myself and my dad because my dad was able to become a CFII for the first time in 20 years so he can finally sign people off to fly again. And I got my first job as a mechanic uh, working on airplanes. Please welcome Charlotte, a new Connect News anchor. Thank you, Maddie. I am Charlotte from Atlanta, Georgia. My dream is to become a pilot, and in 2023, I am proud of my international travel because I got to learn so much. Bonjour, women in aviation junior members. I am Harmon. Hey there, Aviation for Girls crew. I'm Harnoor. We're from Toronto. I have accomplished a lot in 2023, but I'm most proud of accomplishing my flight training because it not only symbolizes a significant personal achievement, but also signifies the launch of my lifelong dream to soar the skies and pursue a fulfilling career in aviation. In 2023, I'm immensely proud to have earned my private pilot's license, marking the beginning of my aviation journey. Thank you for sharing about what has made you proud in 2023, Aviation for Girls crew. Sharing things that are important to us helps us gain confidence and helps us when we set goals for the next year. Another way to gain support and confidence is checking in with your local chapter and community. Harnoor and Harmon, we heard that you spent some time in November doing just that at the Upper Canada Chapter's Girls in Aviation Day. Check out their interviews. Welcome to Girls in Aviation Day. My name is Harnoor. And my name is Harmon. As news anchors, let's ensure that we capture the diverse perspectives and stories of everyone present. Today, we're going to be interviewing a large range of participants from pilots to engineers and highlight the unique journeys that brought them into aviation. We're going to be emphasizing the significance of empowering women in this field. 
Together, let's celebrate the inspiring narratives that contribute to breaking barriers in aviation. I'm here with some air cadets and we're going to be asking them what inspired them to become pilots. Hi, I'm Samia. Um, I saw the Power Pilot Scholarship Program through Air Cadets and it was a great opportunity, so I took it. Hi, uh, my name is Miriam. Uh, well, my brother is a pilot and just seeing, that, seeing him fly and how he's interested into aviation really made me interesting as well. So I just uh, took the opportunity that cadets gave us. It's a free opportunity and I thought it's really interesting. Hi, I'm Brianna and I'm a first generation pilot in my family. I joined Air Cadets to explore my interest in aviation and eventually took the opportunity to become a pilot. Hi, I'm Fania, and actually before joining Cadets, I had no experience with aviation. But once I got into the program, I learned a lot from seeing my seniors and what they did in aviation and that inspired me to become a pilot as well. Okay, so now we're going to be interviewing here. So, what's your name? Olivia. Okay, did you have fun today here? Yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite part of the event? Um, going to the airplane. Was it your first time going into the airplane? Yeah. Yeah? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Would you come here next year? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're with the Embers unit from Girl Guides. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. And would you guys come next year? Yeah! I'm gonna be asking you guys, what was your favorite part of today's day? Anyone wanna answer? Yeah, okay. Um, it was going in the plane. Did you have fun in the plane? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. What was your part, favorite part, sorry? Um, going into the plane. Going into the plane? I think a lot of them had fun going inside the plane. Was it your first time seeing a cockpit? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Candy. Candy? You ate some candy today? That's exciting. You guys want to give a wave to Aviation for Girls Network? Bye! See you next year! Hi there, today we're here with... Um, Emily Archer, Master Corporal Emily Archer. And what do you do? I'm a Human Resources Administrator in the Canadian Armed Forces. Okay, and what sparked your interest in aviation? To be honest, I kind of joined the military because I didn't know what I wanted to do. The great thing about the military is that the avenues are, you know, extensive. I joined as a human res or a, a resource management support clerk. I'm a human resources administrator now, um, but the options always there to, you know, to change trades or travel. So it's great. It's been great. Do you like working here? I do. So I'm actually stationed right now in Petawawa, Ontario on the Chinook Squadron and it's very exciting. It's fast paced. Um, I get to fly with them sometimes so it's exciting. Hey and just one more question. Um, what message would you like to give for the people watching this broadcast today? I just want to say just try it. I never thought that I could be in the military. I'm a very small framed individual. I didn't think I could do it. There's this fitness test that you have to pass. Just try it because you can do it and the, the Canadian Armed Forces needs people like, like young women to join who are interested in this organization and we'd really like to support that as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey guys, today I'm here with Anna and I'm going to be asking her, what did you like about today? Um, I really enjoyed uh, doing the flight simulator uh, on like the TV down there and it was really fun like landing it, although I did crash it, <laughs> which is not <laughs> the best. That's okay. What brought you in today? Um, I actually found about this on from my girl guides, like they sent out an email and I found it pretty cool, so I came out to check it out. Would you come next year? Probably. Awesome, thank you so much, Anna. No problem. Hi there, so today we're here with Chriselle. I am the co-chair for the first Canadian chapter of the 99s. Thank you, and we just wanted to ask you, what advice would you have for young girls that want to pursue a career in aviation? Um, I'd say go for it. Uh, don't let anything stop you. Um, if there are any barriers, um, you know, come to events like this. This is so great. Like, look, you can try out everything. If you want to be an AME, you can give that a try. And, you know, there should be nothing to stop you. Just give it a try. Go to a flight school if you want to get your pilot's license. And, 
take a class and the worst that can happen is you may not enjoy it, right? Yeah. And, the, and the best is it could be a lifelong passion. Absolutely, thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Samia and I'm here with Kathy Fraser. Kathy Fraser, what do you do and what's your most memorable moment as a woman in aviation? I was a captain on the 787 Dreamliner at Air Canada. I retired after 34 and a half years and I love inspiring young women to get into aviation. Of course, thank you so much, Kathy. Now we're here with Arpen. And what do you do, Arpen? I am a student at Science and Aviation University Waterloo working on my CPL. And we just have a quick question. What's your most memorable moment in aviation? Um, it has to be when I heard ATC at Island Air or Billy Bishop say congratulations after my first solo. And I gotta add another quick one, which is when I gave my very first passenger briefing when I took my first passenger ever. That's beautiful. And what would you like to say to the girls watching this channel? I would like to say that you can do it too. It's, yeah, we're getting more and more female pilots every day and let yourself be an inspiration to the younger generation. You heard that, never give up girls. Hi there, what's your name? My name is Jermon. I see that you want to be a future pilot. What brought you here to Women in Aviation Day? Uh, yeah, I do want to be a future pilot. And so basically my two sisters are already pilots. So they're my inspiration. Oh, that's so lovely to hear. How, have you had fun today? Yeah, it was super fun. We had a lot of boots over here and it, we met so many new people. Like there's so many flight simulators, so many activities. Like it's really fun. What would you say was your favorite part of the day? Uh, favorite part is definitely the flight simulators because you can actually get the experience of flying the plane. That sounds pretty close. So, Armand, why have you chosen to come to a Girls in Aviation event specifically? Because um, I just want to support my sisters and I know this is like a male dominant career. So, I just want to support my sisters and help them along the way. Oh, that's lovely to hear. Thank you so much, Armand. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Harman and Harnoor. See you next time. Bye! We had a blast interviewing at the Girls in Aviation Day event and making new friends. Being involved in your chapter is so important because it provides a supportive and empowering community where you can connect with like-minded individuals who share a passion for aviation. Izzy, I heard that you spent some time at Girls in Aviation Day with the San Francisco Bay Chapter. Check it out, AFG crew! Francisco Bay Chapter worked hard and had Girls in Aviation Day recognized by the county and the state. Thank you, Isabel, for producing this special video. We have some new chapters from WAI to recognize. 
Congratulations to the Bridgewater State University chapter in Massachusetts of the United States. The Wings Over Water Town chapter in South Dakota of the United States just joined Women in Aviation International. Please welcome the first General Chuck Yeager chapter in West Virginia of the United States. It is so great to hear about the new chapters around the world. There are over 170 WAI chapters, and you can use the interactive map on the AFG app to find one near you. We have some impressive stats for you too. Our junior member has officially surpassed 5,000. Well, Aviation for Girls crew, look at us grow. That is an impressive community we are building. We hope that if any of our junior members are near Orlando, you save the date for Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. 35th Annual Women in Aviation Conference, there is a special Girls in Aviation Day that features an impressive career panel, loads of STEM activities, an amazing keynote speaker, and a trip to the WAI exhibit hall. Tickets will go on sale at the end of January. They are $10 a person and it includes lunch. I attended last February in Long Beach, California and had an amazing time. The picture of me in the Aviation for Girls magazine is from the event. I wore my Coast Guard flight suit that matches my mom's. I got to fly simulators and a drone. It was my first Girls in Aviation Day. Did you know that each year during the annual WAI conference, trailblazing women are inducted into the WAI International Pioneer Hall of Fame? Yeah, it happens on the last evening of the conference during a special celebration. Since 1992, over 125 individuals and groups have been recognized for their significant contributions to the aviation aerospace industry. Each year, the selection committee reviews nominations and decides on the list of pioneering aviation and aerospace role models. These women are celebrated for their contributions and inspiration at the annual Pioneer Hall of Fame induction ceremony. There's also a special video produced about the life of each inductee. This month, our feature pioneer is Joan Robinson Berry. She retired as Vice President and Chief Engineer for Boeing Global Services in June 2020. Joan broke barriers as a female African-American and elevated the industry with numerous accomplishments in aerospace. Joan is a role model for minorities and women in STEM. Learn about her numerous firsts and accomplishments in her Pioneer Induction video. Joan Robinson Berry's pioneering spirit and inspiring leadership in the field of aerospace have broken barriers and elevated the industry during her 33-year career. Joan's trailblazing began early. She was the first African-American from her childhood neighborhood to graduate from college with an engineering degree. Joan was the first female engineering graduate at California State Polytechnic University, Pomona, and the first African-American program manager at McDonnell Douglas. At the Boeing Company, she was the first African-American on the Boeing Engineering Process Council, the first Boeing Fellow to the African Scientific Institute and the first African-American Vice President on the Shared Services Leadership Team. Joan led the way and many followed. Until her retirement in July 2020, Joan served as Vice President and Chief Engineer for Boeing Global Services, responsible for strengthening Boeing's enterprise engineering expertise and encouraging a company-wide approach to meeting customer, business, and operational priorities with an emphasis on safety, quality, and integrity. Joan's accomplishments are numerous. She has earned extensive recognition for her work in STEM from global organizations, including the National Society of Black Engineers and members of Congress. She was recognized in 2019 by Black Enterprise as one of the most powerful women in corporate America. And in 2017, Joan was among Women's Enterprise Magazine's top 100 leaders in corporate supplier diversity. Her exceptional leadership and innovative big picture technical skills have advanced global engineering and modification support for national defense and commercial services worldwide. Throughout her exceptional career at Boeing, Joan motivated women and minorities to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. 
and inspired many in the industry to continue her pioneering legacy. Please welcome Joan Robinson Berry, 2021 inductee to the Women in Aviation International Pioneer Hall of Fame. Panson Perry is an inspirational role model. She is an example of pioneer to be proud of in STEM and our aviation and aerospace community. We have some more amazing junior members to be proud of. Let's hear about our shout outs. Congrats to Harmon, our Connect News anchor, for completing her SAMRA written test on November 15th, 2023. Way to go, Harmon! Way to soar, Audrey from California, for completing your your private pilot certificate on October 16, 2023. Kudos to you, Audrey. Congratulations to Sophia from Washington for completing her first discovery flight on September 1, 2023. Way to go, Sophia. Our Connect News anchor, Audrey, went on a special trip in October to visit the Udvar Hazy Air and Space Museum in Virginia and had an indoor skydiving experience. Congratulations, Audrey. Thank you to Izzy. I absolutely loved the museum. Kudos to Eva from Arkansas for completing her first solo flight on September 20th, 2023. Way to soar, Eva. Congratulations to Nicole from Florida for completing her first solo flight in November 23, 2023. Way to go and blue skies to you, Nicole. Way to go, Eden from California, for achieving her private pilot certificate on July 16, 2023. Congrats to Connect News anchor Maddie for logging over 250 hours towards her airframe power plant license. Way to go, Maddie! Thank you, Charlotte. Kudos to Akshita from Saskatchewan, Canada, for completing her private pilot certificate on August 21st, 2023, through the support of a scholarship. Congratulations again! Way to soar, Lucy from Texas, for completing her first solo flight on December 6, 2023. Lucy shared some footage of her experience. Way to go, Lucy! Way to soar, Lauren from Wisconsin, for completing her private pilot certificate on September 14, 2023. Congratulations, Lauren! Congratulations to Anya from Florida for receiving the Air Force Association Award Cadet of the Year, Cadet of the Month, and Outstanding Volunteer Air Force Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps. Anya has also been accepted at a university to pursue aeronautical science and flight degree. Way to go, Anya! Way to go, Ala, our Connect News anchor for completing research on robotics for paraplegic. Ala specifically researched Hemoplegia, simulation suits that simulate walking and recovery for patients. Congratulations, Ala. Thank you, Harmin and Hirnor. Wow, we have another very impressive group of shout outs. A special shout out to all of our WAI junior members who have accomplished a piece of your dream in 2023. If you sent your shout out to us to share or kept it close to your heart, we are so proud of all of you and can't wait to hear what the Aviation for Girls crew accomplishes in 2024. For those of you discovering your dreams, we have a new contest that specializes in just that. Check out the WAI Writing Contest on the Aviation for Girls app. Research and write about the day in the life of an astronaut, flight dispatcher, airframe, and power plant mechanic pilot, scientist, or even your role model, and send your 250 words by February 1st, 2024. All the details can be found on the Aviation for Girls app. The WAI Writing Contest encourage you to explore the Skies Unlimited Career Guide on the AFG app. Read through career descriptions to see what interests you. You can also explore some stories for inspiration in our newest digital issue for Aviation for Girls 2024, Issue 1 magazine, and find all the new activity pages and book zone titles. Thank you. While you are in the app, check out Engage eLearning under events. Our next event is on January 18th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. 
we will be learning all about drones from two amazing guest specialists. Each e-learning has a quick STEAM activity too. All events are free and WAI hopes to see you there. You can tune in virtually from your computer, participate in a live Q&A, or even ask a question directly to the speakers. Hey Hardware, how did the aviatrix decide where to go for New Year's Eve? They winged it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. This brings us to the end of our December Aviation Girls Connect news and our 2023 broadcast. Thank you, WAI junior members. Happy New Year and see you in February 2024. Thank you for tuning in and have a happy new year, AFG crew, and welcome to the 2024 season. Make sure you join us again in February 2024. We hope you have a wonderful new year. Thanks for welcoming me to AFG Connect News. Happy 2024. Happy New Year, WAI junior members. We will see you in February. Bye, Aviation for Girls Crew. Thank you for tuning in. See you in 2024. Bye, Aviation for Girls Crew. We hope you have a happy new year and think of something that made you proud in 2023. See you next Bye, year. Bye, AFG Crew. See you next year in February 2024. Thank you for watching Girls and Connected News. Happy New Year. See you in 2024. Bye, Aviation for Girls Crew. Thanks for tuning in and have a happy new year. Thank you. Have a happy new year, girls and aviation junior members. Keep soaring into 2024 Aviation for Girls crew. Bye. Thank you so much, Aviation for Girls anchors, for your time creating our December broadcast and for all of you who have contributed in 2023. We hope you all have a happy new year and we are looking forward to sharing more Aviation for Girls Connect news in February, 2024.